coronavirus disease, or COVID-19, is a virus strain that has spread in people since December 2019. In early March, the United States issued a stay-at-home order restricting people from going into work and shutting down many businesses. The effect was strong, and all but essential businesses were closed. This meant that restaurants, movie theaters, construction projects were abandoned, even our places of worship were shut down. Students were participating in distance learning, people were forced to work from home, and essential businesses like grocery stores were struggling to provide enough goods for the general public. Oil was down, and the price of gas was the lowest it's been in many, many years. It was an extensive period of time, but from it came new outlooks on life. People picked up new skills, families spent more time together, car enthusiasts brought their classic cars out on the road. Interestingly enough, statistics show that car accidents actually went down during lockdown because there were less people on the road. But that didn't mean there wasn't a bad disease still out there. People wanted to move forward. The president wanted businesses to reopen. And believe me, people did too. We all just want things to go back to normal, but that simply won't happen anytime soon. It's a brave new world out there. Let's walk through some of the big changes to our society. Reopening was a huge endeavor. People wanted to get back to work and keep the cash flow pumping. Governments issued numerous CDC-regulated safety precautions for all businesses. Masks were mandatory when in public, and everyone should keep a six-feet difference between each other whenever possible. When stores reopened, people were shopping safe, but were still traveling all over the stores. So in order to maintain a safe six feet apart, stores implemented directions to help shoppers navigate between aisles in the form of arrows on the ground. The one-way system in stores kept a predictable flow of customers. The next innovation was the use of plexiglass barriers on cash registers and restaurant booths. Of course, this barrier provided a shield protecting both the customers and the workers. These are everywhere. Hygiene was another important step in the reopening process. All employees in the food service industry had to wash their hands and wear disposable latex gloves. Disinfecting and cleaning surfaces like doorknobs and other frequently touched areas were also mandated by the CDC. Schools reopened and adopted many of these changes. Classrooms were restricted to 50% capacity hallways had strict one-way walking directions for students, and more social environments like the lunchroom cafeterias were left to feed only half the students at a time. But through it all, we remain positive, optimistic about the future and the end of this terrible disease. We look forward to working under normal conditions and spending time closer together. But for now, this is how life is. The world has never seen an event like this before. But in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. We have a unique opportunity to live in this time. A time where we can all come together as a race and fight this disease. We are at war, but it is not against other people. It is against an invisible threat. This is why constantly disinfecting, wearing a mask, and following all CDC mandated safety regulations will help us fight back. COVID-19 is a global pandemic affecting all of us, but as one, we can prevail. It's a brave new world out there. Be optimistic, look to the future, and stay safe.